Hey guys, thanks for joining me on my day two summary video of CES. Today was a pretty good day compared to yesterday. Yesterday I wasn't able to get anything done due to all the problems that I had uploading all the video. So a big thank you to all of you for being so patient and sending all your support to me by emails, by uh, tweets, Facebook messages and all that. So thanks again guys, I really appreciate it. So before I begin my summary of CES today, I would just like to apologize to those who wanted to be part of this 50 millimeter contest giveaway. I'm actually gonna extend this contest giveaway to the UK as that's where most of my uh, viewers are coming from other than the US and also I've been getting a lot of emails and messages uh, from the UK. So everywhere else, I'm sorry. Next time around, I will make sure that I basically make it worldwide available to everybody. So for my UK followers, please click on the link in the description bar below and it'll take you to a website where you can put in your phone number and email address and be entered into the contest. Okay, moving on. So what happened today? Well, I got to speak to four pretty good vendors today. The first one I wanna bring up is a new company that basically made their debut at CES. What do they do? They make this really cool 360 degree camera that's about yay big. All you really have to do to take a 360 degree picture is stick it out in front of you and take a picture. So I thought this was my pretty cool gadget of the day and you can watch my interview with these guys by clicking on these links down here below. So the other company I spoke to today was with Nikon. Now Nikon only made one pretty big announcement this uh, time around, although they had a pretty massive booth for this one big announcement. It is their D4. Now I got to hold this camera and let me tell you, it is a monster of a camera. The other company I got to speak to today was Panasonic. They introduced a GX1, not to be confused with the G1X, from Canon. There's a lot of G's and X's flying around all over the place, so there was a couple of times where I did get it mixed up. It's not my fault, too many G's, too many X's. It is a micro four thirds camera, but it also produces DSLR quality images. Now, I do need to get my hands on a lot of these four thirds camera and do a comparison uh, shot with a DSLR to see how they compare. These micro four thirds camera really boast image quality uh, comparable to that of a DSLR. And last but not least is my favorite, Fuji. Fuji has two pretty cool cameras that I really like. The first one is going to be X100, which I've talked to you guys about in my previous uh, vlog video when I visited Sammy's camera. Now the Fuji X100 is a rangefinder type camera and it produces awesome image quality, which is comparable to that of a DSLR. It is for those photographers that love street photography and like manual controls such as myself. The other camera that they featured at CES was the X-Pro1. Now this thing is nothing short of amazing and this is the one that is gonna take the crown for me and I'm gonna try and get my hands on. So as you can see that this year's CES was really geared towards the point and shoots and not so much the DSLRs. Uh, there's a lot of new DSLR cameras that will be coming out probably this coming year, but for right now, it's really about all the point and shoots. So if you wanna see all my interviews at CES with all these companies, make sure you click on the links on these logos right here at the bottom of your screen and it'll take you to each of these videos. Okay guys, I'm out of here. This was my last day at CES. Tonight I'll be editing and tomorrow I'll be editing as well. So I really won't have a whole lot of time to go back. I didn't get to really walk around the entire convention as I would love to see different products, but unfortunately I'm a one man band. So next year I will have a lot more crew to help me out with setting up and filming and editing and all that stuff. But again, I appreciate your guys' patience and supporting me through this entire week that I have been here. Also, don't forget my new line of t-shirts that have just come out, bam. Make sure you pick one up for yourself. Every t-shirt that you buy goes to help me produce these videos and keeping you guys entertained and well-informed on helping you guys buy cameras. All right guys, I'm on vacation tomorrow, so I'll talk to you guys soon and thanks for watching. Peace. Yellow leather, yellow leather, yellow leather, yellow leather, yellow. So one more thing I want to talk about before I'm so tired I just want to go play peace